Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to be doing a reading for the sun sign Gemini for the month of December for Gemini. Uh, it's just a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, so take it or leave it. It's not going to be for every single Gemini out there. All right. I'm going to start by pulling some Oracle cards. These Greek mythology Oracle cards. Merry making. Merry making is all about having fun. It's all about, you know, maybe drinking some wine. Look at the cup there. I mean, those people are having fun. They're having a party. I mean, so it's it's just going to outline like your basic thing that you're obviously going to be in a mood to celebrate. You're going to be in a very social mood in December. Um, next, I'm going to pull some cards from my Island Time Wellness deck. It's more like a love kind of deck. It has like love messages. It doesn't only mean like romantic partnership kind of love um you know it can mean like family and friends things like that let's see what we got let's see what we got receiving what you need progression boat arriving moving on closure like you're really moving into a better energy well you're in a good energy in december anyways sudden change i keep on pulling this card today it doesn't matter how much i shuffle these cards shocking news surprises lightning transformation the sword and the rose clarity truth re revelation solitarity force honor protection power Ooh, truth Oh, truth comes out anyways. I mean, truth always comes out, you would think. Not all the time. So, I don't know what's been going on, but let's find out. Let's pull some more cards here. We're going to pull cards from this Villains Tarot deck. You know, I love it. It's all Walt Disney, like, villains. It's really, like, a different deck than all the decks I've ever had. It's very dark. And I love Walt Disney and cartoons and things, so. <laughs> Page of Cups. That's funny. I shuffled that in there. So, Page of Cups is, again, look at him. Page of Cups. He's got a big thing of beer there. I mean, it seems like you guys are going to be indulging a bit in the month of December. Like, you're going to be eating good. You might be drinking a lot more than you do. It is December. Like, if you celebrate Christmas or whatnot, like, your friends might have you over for beers. You might go over there for beers and wine and some food. Um, Page of Cups is pretty fun. He's not very serious. Everything is kind of, like, lighthearted here. Um, let's see here. What else we got? Queen of Wands. Oh, look at that. That can't get more Walt Disney than that. So you got the Queen of Wands kind of energy. The Queen of Wands likes to get what she wants. She likes things her way. Um, you know, she's a kind of a bit of a pushy person. She doesn't like to be told no. So I don't know who you're dealing with there. Let's move on. You got the three of cups. So you're in love with somebody maybe here. There's like, there's a lot of cups. So it's a very fun, loving kind of energy. I mean, it's all like 
The Queen of Wands is super in her power. She's very independent. She's very beautiful. So someone around you is uh, very beautiful. With the Two of Cups, it's all about love here. It's all about you're having fun. It's all about celebration. I mean, I don't know about this Queen of Wands. She seems like she could be a little bit toxic at times. Maybe moody because very passionate person. But now you got the Knight of Swords. I mean, there's a whole lot of swords there. I don't know. Whole lot of swords. At the end of this all, it seems like you're having some trouble sleeping here in December. Um... You know, there could have been, there's something that's keeping you up at night. And maybe it's this revelation, this honor, this power. You might feel like somebody is trying to have some sort of control over you. I mean, you've moved on from a past, a past relationship. I mean, you're just out to have fun with the Page of Cups. Like, it's very kind of a fun romantic energy. I'm going to use this other deck here. This is a Greek mythology deck again to clarify the Page of Cups. This has been happening to me all day. The Page of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is all about loving himself. He's a little bit of a narcissist. He's immature. I mean, that's the past energy. So this person that you're dealing with or maybe that's just yourself, like you were out for self-love. That can come out as very narcissistic, like you're into your own needs and wants. Uh, you know, you're just out to have a good time and you're looking in a mirror. You're really looking at yourself. You're taking some time out for yourself. This person might be mirroring you here where you're having lots of fun together as well. The hermit. So it seems like you know, you might want some time to yourself here in the past. And anytime you wanted time to yourself to venture off, maybe you wanted to go hiking. I don't know. Maybe you wanted to hang out with friends and uh, go wine tasting. I don't know. Whatever you wanted to do. You wanted to take a trip. You wanted to do anything. This person was... You had a little bit of a clingy person around you in your past. And then there was a sudden transformation. Something ended up happening between you. And you just decided that you wanted some time to yourself. They didn't like that um, at all. Like, they felt like, why don't you want to make everything about me? So then they took it as a narcissistic kind of thing that you were doing. Or maybe you felt like they were narcissistic. You made everything about them, they could not recognize the time and the need for space. Um, Seven of Pentacles here. You can see that. This is like a, like a thing of maybe somebody coming in to apologize from your past. Uh, maybe somebody was a little bit harsh. They came in and they're trying to make things right. Maybe somebody has some of your things that's coming in that, I don't know, they're out to like make things right for their wrongdoing. I see it as a big time, like, I, I, it's a real giving energy. Like it's a real, I don't know, it's a real, you don't know whether if you can trust somebody or not. You're having a hard time trusting maybe because of what happened to you in your past. You feel like you were a little naive and taken advantage of where somebody might have taken something that you feel was yours. Oh, let's clarify here. Two of Cups. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. Because the Three of Cups, it looks like somebody from your past might be coming into your present to apologize. And you're kind of like celebrating. You're kind of like celebrating your freedom away from them. So I feel like you don't want really anything to do with them. Like it's a little too late. Three of Swords. Three of Swords is... Hmm, 
Like you were feeling this energy of wanting to be with somebody and now you're not sure about them. You find them to be a little overwhelming. You find them to not want to give you your own space when you need it. Um, some people need more time to themselves than others. Some people can be like surgically attached to somebody else in a relationship. Um, I don't know, man. Oh. Five of Cups is a feeling of being abandoned. I don't think this is you here. I think that maybe it seems like you were in a relationship here, like a like a fairly new one, and this person all of a sudden is like not, or maybe you're not spending enough time together like something's going on it feels like there's some outside interference from a past person it's either your past person or their past person coming in coming in or you know it's like whoa like why weren't why are you not spending more time together let's clarify here with the five cups somebody abandoning you i mean that's the last thing you want maybe you're trying to sort out what you actually want here. Do you really want this? Maybe it's a really kind of like pushy energy in this person or yourself feels like, I, I feel like it's time for some space. It might, you're, you're not sleeping good here. You're, you're stressed out in December. Oh, I don't want to have to say that. Let's clarify, four of pentacles. Like four of pentacles is all about like charity, you know, it's about trying to be a giving person. You weren't very much in your past a very giving person and the person that you were dealing with was equally not giving. So it's like, no, everybody wanted things their way their way or the highway my stuff my stuff it's all mine it's like not your stuff i paid for this it seems like there was like a like a debate over assets and who did what and who didn't do enough yeah here are pentacles like you're trying your best to manifest and do good things I mean, you were trying really hard. It seems like you actually put a lot more effort in and you started feeling like exhausted, like nothing you did was ever good enough. So you find, finally decided that you were spending way too much time with this person. Two of Cups. So here you have a union you have the three of cups and the two of cups you're torn between the old and the new someone's coming back in they want forgiveness but you've already moved on uh and you're finding this kind of like it's interfering in your present with your present new person you have the two of cups twice like there's no way that this person could ever make things right no matter what they have to offer justice. I mean, I can't make this up. You have justice under the three of swords. I mean, this person doesn't want to see you move on. That's what it is. They're trying to stir all sorts of freaking trouble with this new person. They are jealous. They're very jealous. Shocking news. This person is just shocking you by all of a sudden showing up out of the blue, trying to reestablish communication with you, um, trying to offer some sort of truth, like, oh, I know I did this. I'm so sorry. I'm going to make it right. Maybe they owe you money. Maybe they still have some of your things. Ten of Wands. Like, you're frustrated here in December. You don't know what to do with this person. They're causing you stress. They kind of come out of nowhere. If this hasn't happened yet, they are going to. 
It's like they're trying to interfere. They don't want to see you with somebody else. This person was a very jealous person, by the way. Very, very, like did not trust you at all. They were making your life miserable by being completely controlling. Um, when they want something, they don't take no for an answer. This person, they can manipulate, they can lie. I don't really trust them. I think you learned your lessons, you moved on. <laughs> Sorry, something is making me very sneezy in here. I mean, in the month of December, you're going to be kind of a little stressed about this past person coming in. Out of nowhere, it's like, you know, but seriously, you just see them as someone not worthy of your attention and they're really trying to like weasel their way back in there. They, they're, they're trying to make it seem like they have good intentions. They do not. It's just a metal in what's going on right now because now they know maybe they found out that you're seeing somebody new and they do not like it. They do not like it. They're all about jealousy, vengeance. Um, this is why you've kept your distance with the hermit and you've closed off communication with this person. You have. I think you know better. I mean, it's a real narcissistic kind of energy. And immature. I don't even know where to start. This person... There's some people out there that just want to try to control other people, right? They want to control what they do. Um, and it's really annoying being told what to do all the time with somebody that thinks that they're better than you all the time. Maybe there's something that they did better than you. Maybe they made more money or had more money and they would throw it in your face. Like, why would you want somebody that makes you feel not so good about yourself? Like with the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, like you were trying really hard. Like, you were trying really hard. I feel like nothing you ever did was good enough for this person. Like, there's no pleasing this person, but yet they want you. Like, it's super, super confusing. I don't know. But you will prevail with the Ten of Wands. Like, no matter how frustrated you are with this person, you're going to handle it with the best of your ability. I mean, I see you trying to tell them where to go and they're not having it. Oh, they're jealous. I hope that they, that somehow, you know, this doesn't, don't let it ruin your good time with this other person. Ugh. And it's almost like they're trying to convince you that this new person isn't as good as what they are. Like, they're so much better than this other person. They're actually, like, putting them down to you, like, behind that person's back. Maybe they even know each other, oddly. I don't know. That's pretty crappy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But it looks like with the Justice card, things will turn out right in the end. It's just going to take some time to get back to that. Like, you just want them to go away. Like, seriously, you just want them to go away. I mean, they made your life miserable enough when you were with them. Now you're kind of like, I'm loving my life again. And now you think you can just waltz your way back in here and be like, I'm really sorry. Like... I'm really sorry. I made a mistake. Like, here's the money I owe you. Here's the stuff I owe you. Like, hey. And they're almost like trying to like, <laughs> and this is pathetic. Like, they're just trying to make you some sort of offer. I don't know if it's like a peace offer. Maybe they are. But you can't trust this person. The cards are urging that you cannot trust this person. They are not to be trusted. They will stab you in the back every chance they freaking get. They are vengeful and jealous because they couldn't get what they wanted out of you. And I feel like they took enough here. 
now they want to give it back like it's supposed to make it all better like I don't know I just hope like you have to be very firm with this person and they don't like it that'll cause major conflict if you tell them like listen blah 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 this person is scary almost like I don't even know like they might be a bit of a stalker I don't know like, seriously, they're a bit of a stalker. They've been maybe watching your social media, things like that. That's how they found out you were with this new person, and they're out to meddle. They're out to... I don't like it. Just be strong, Gemini. Like, that's the best message I could send you, is that the cards are just saying, like, stick to your grounds. This person is going to frustrate you and stress you out in the month of December. Hopefully it doesn't last long and you send them packing. It's not worth the, it, it's whatever they owe you. It's not worth the headache of having to deal with them. Like major headache, major. They're going to put you back in this nine of swords, like energy where they're just stressing you out it's almost like this person just likes to have conflicts with you and bring up the past bring up the past bring up the past let's be like and you're like I don't really care I'm trying to like move on wow I think that this person it's it's right there in the sword and the rose they want to control everything you do. You were with a complete control freak. Like, I just see control freak, control freak. And they are not going to let you go so easily. And if you're not with them, they will make your life hell. Like, it's like, suffer the consequences. You don't want to be with me now? Suffer the consequences. They are vindictive. And one way or another, they will try to cause problems between you and your new person. But with anyone new that comes into your life, that they're going to try to interfere, cause problems, make shit up. I don't even know if they're going to go as far as to say that your new person has contacted them. Maybe your new person did. Or is going to your person and your new person might even threaten this person and say like stay the fuck away from us and they're gonna play like the tragic victim like they did nothing when it's like the other way around they're harassing you guys mm. scary beware Gemini and you know what prepare yourself from this and be strong be the sword don't be the rose, don't be a soft because you're kind and you know, you always want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. They're coming in, they look like they, they're reestablished communication, making it seem like they're all sweet and innocent and apologetic for their past behavior. And they are not, they are not, you'd be best to shut it down right away. If it means like getting back some of your stuff it's you're almost best to cut your losses i just uh, it's gonna stress you out anyways maybe that's what you're in for you're like okay well you're saying you're sorry you still have my stuff like i don't know if it's some of your personal belongings or other things i mean it seems to me something something else there Gemini like best of luck dealing with this freak best of luck you're not being the freak it says here that progression arising moving on closure issues like maybe you had issues with this person because they won't leave you the frig alone be like the lightning I really feel like this person will even make up lies. They'll go to like extent just to destroy you for whatever reason. And it's because you don't want to be with them. They can't accept that. Best of luck, Gemini.